Hey guys, I'm coming to you here from uh, Doha, Qatar. Um, and I want you guys to be praying. Uh, we're hearing from several different Christian groups that um, we are helping to get out that uh, ISIS is coming through and looking for Christians, particularly to force them to fight for ISIS. And so um, it's at a very crucial and serious situation. We need you to be praying for this. Also, for many people, they can't afford food. We have Christians that are starving to death because of uh, not being able to eat. As soon as uh, the Taliban came in, they took over all the food supply. They took over farms. They took over everything. They forced everyone out of those farms. And then they jacked up the prices so that the people, the Afghan people, can't even afford to eat. And so we have many believers that are struggling right now. Um, and that are really having a hard time. And so we need you to be praying for them. And so, um, and also we have several groups throughout uh, Kabul that are uh, hiding out that, that we need to get to borders. There are many of the borders that have already closed, ones where we've gotten many groups across uh, in the past, but now they're shut down. So we need you to pray that we can get our guys to, uh, safely to these countries that are, uh, that are still open to them. That's only a few. But anyway, please keep praying. Please keep uh, continuing to uh, hold this up. Our news, from my understanding, is not reporting that ISIS is his involvement and forcing Christians into trying to fight for them. Uh, these guys are holding fast to their faith, so keep praying that they hold true to that and they don't cave. God bless you guys. Thank you for standing with us. On that.